We want to identify the problem and try to come up with a bipartisan solution. Chair recognizes Mr. Moskowitz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I agree with Mr. Sessions. I, I, I think the threat uh, of China is real. That's why I voted for the China Select Committee. And, and I would also like to come up with bipartisan solutions. But unfortunately, that, that's not what the chairman is doing with this issue. Tim Walls was announced as the vice presidential candidate, and immediately the chairman opens up an investigation into the vice president. In fact, the chairman goes on to say China has a vice presidential candidate who has gone on record praising the country as one of his rationales for opening this investigation and sending letters to the FBI. Doesn't sound bipartisan trying to get to the root uh, uh, of the China issue, but of course, you know, as we're doing that, you know, I'll do just to re remind the chairman just a, a quick spirited reading of some of the things that President Trump has said. China's been working very hard to contain the coronavirus. The United States greatly appreciates their efforts and transparency. It will all work out well. In particular, on behalf of the American people, I want to thank President Xi. Trump again. I just spoke to President Xi last night. And you all know he's working on the problem, the virus. It's a very tough situation. But I think he's going to handle it. I think he handled it really well. We're helping where we can. Another Trump quote. Just had a very long conversation with President Xi on the phone. He's strong, sharp, powerful, focused on leading the counterattack on the coronavirus. He feels they're doing very well, building hospitals in a matter of days. Great discipline is taking place in China as President Xi strongly leads what will be a very successful operation. We're working closely with China to help more Trump. I think China is very, you know, professionally run in a sense and that they have everything under control. I really believe they're going to have it under control very soon. You know, in April, supposedly it'll die with hotter weather. That's a beautiful date to look forward to. But China, I can tell you, is working very hard. More Trump. We have very few people with it and are getting better. They're all getting better. The whole situation will work out. I think China has it really shut down. And, and I bring all of that up because all of those things, all of the praising of Xi, this is the rationale that the chairman has used to do other stuff. Uh, the chairman went on Fox Business with Maria Bartiroma and said, yeah, the Walls family, that's a scary family there when he was talking about the Walls family. If you look at Maria's face, it looked like she vomited, it came up, and then she swallowed it again as the chairman was talking about that. Okay, I'm sure the American people think Gwen Walls is, is really scary. You know, the chairman went on to say that, you know, Walls is very concerning to me because we don't want to set our business model like China. Of course, Trump always has, always has a quote or a tweet for that. Trump said, She's now president for life, right? And, I, and that's great. And look, he was able to do that, and I think it's great. Maybe we will do the same. Huh, that's interesting. That sounds like Trump looking at the Chinese model and wanting to copy it, which is what the chairman said about Tim Walls. So I'm just curious, is the chairman going to open up an investigation into Donald Trump wanting to copy the Chinese model, which is what he accused Tim Walls of? I, we know the answer. More Trump about President Xi. We love each other. And so knowing how this committee has conducted investigations, knowing the evidence that they've manufactured or the witnesses they've had to deal with, the only evidence the chairman has on Tim Walls in China is that maybe he visited a Panda Express once and he liked it. That's it. That's, what, that's what's going on here. So I don't want to hear about bipartisanship on China. We, we were there... And then the chairman just goes all over TV and wants to accuse the Walls family of basically being spies for China with no evidence. And look, I appreciate the, the kind words the chairman said about me on Newsmax the other day, calling me the court jester, so thank you, my liege. Appreciate that. Uh, but he said something else that I think really sums up what this committee has done. The chairman went on and said, my job was never to impeach. Well, that is interesting. So for two years, almost two years, we have sat here. Well, we have run impeachment hearings. Well, we have had cameras, hundreds of interviews, millions of dollars to spend. And now the chairman finally says, my job was never to impeach. He only says that because it didn't work out. And so, you know, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to have my staff send this to your office. I would love for you to sign it. And I'm going to hang it in my office as a reminder 
okay, of what this committee was used for. Okay, so I don't want to hear about bipartisanship when they destroyed this committee over nonsense for two years. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Chair recognizes the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Burchett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 